Michael Turner cuts it to the inside and crosses at 25 up to the 26 yard line. Turner again, he has been such a huge part of this Atlanta turnaround as a franchise. Catch is made and appears to be very close to a first down. Who else on the first reception of the day? Then Tony Gonzalez, and that will move the chain. One pick of the Chiefs back in 1997. Play action across the middle in a wide open. Julio Jones across midfield to the 45. Gain of 25, and again, Ryan play action, dangerous throw there, and excellent coverage in a secondary by Eric Berry, a pro bowler as a rookie two seasons ago. Second down and 10, and they give it to Turner, and he's met at the line of scrimmage by Tyson Jackson. Jones, another catch, and Jones, another first down. He's inside the 35 to the 32. Short drop on first down and looking for the jump ball in the corner. And great coverage by Stanford Route. They brought him over from the Oakland Raiders during the offseason when they lost Brandon Carr in free agency to Dallas. A bullet. For another first down, and that's to the 17-yard line. First catch of the game by Roddy White. Either. First down, they give it to Turner. And again, not much running room. Inside the 15, maybe a gain of two. Play number 11 on this season opening drive. And Ryan dumps it off to Palmer, the backup tight end. He takes a big hit inside the 10. And spotted at the eight yard line and he's about two yards shy of a first down. Here, maybe looking for an end zone shot. You caught it. And there it is for the touchdown. What an impressive opening drive of this 2012 season for Ryan and the Falcons. Three catches on the drive for Julio Jones, including a touchdown. Because I know it's south from here. Point after is good. 11 plays. They've got Terrence Cooper. Hopper waiting on the kick for Matt Boschner. And it's Arenas who goes over to get it and brings it out to the 22-yard line. Cleveland during the offseason. First throw, and it's Steve Breskin on the catch. Slips the tackle and appears to be about a half yard shy of the first down. Third down and a yard, and they give it to Jamal Charles, and he has what appears to be enough for a first down. It was one year ago in Detroit when Jamal Charles was carted off the field, tears in his eyes after tearing ligaments in his knee. Good protection and a wide open Tony. Moyaki, who did not play a single snap last year after catching 47 passes as a rookie out of Iowa. Gain of 18. First nine games that he got hurt. And now he's throwing again. And out of the hands of Dwayne Bowe. Charles on second down and coming in to make the stop. Steven Nicholas, nice play. Signed as a free agent with Kansas City. Good protection. Castle steps up and delivers a strip. All the way to the 24 and his time ball hangs on. Kansas City, the only team in the NFL which failed to score a touchdown on its opening drive last year. But thinking differently here at 12, that one appeared to be tipped to the line of scrimmage. New offensive quarter coordinator here in Brian Dayboy. This is a nice play of this drive. Charles cuts it back to the inside and picks up close to three. Let's check in back in Los Angeles with Kurt Menefee. Oh. Kurt slips a tackle, but not nearly enough for a first down. Run out of bounds at the 21-yard line. And it is 
good, so each team scores on its opening possession. Romeo's with a 7-3 lead, and Rodgers waiting on the kick from Suckett. And he comes up to get it. Juggles. Brings it out of the lookout. Rodgers with one man to beat. Inside the 30 and run out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Javier Arenas caught it. They clock down to two. Ryan's going to get it off. And Turner rumbles down to the 20-yard line, a gain of four. Turner to the 18-yard line, third down upcoming, and again we chill out in the 18. This is Tony Gonzalez territory down here. If you can get the playoff. Full start. Offense number two. Five yard penalty. Still third down. And that's one of the new rules they have in the NFL this year. Looks coming. They find Harry Douglas, but he is denied a first down yardage. But now it'll be Matt Bryant out of the hold at Boschner. Good snap, good hold, and he sneaks it inside the left upright. So the big return by Jacquez Rogers at 77 yards leads to an Atlanta field goal. The punters are taking the day off, and it could be that kind of game all day long. Javier Arenas. Out across the 10 to the 15, and Still on his feet. And up to the 24. Arena saved. Charles looking for running room and doesn't find any. Into the heart of the defense. Ray Edwards coming in to clean it up, and this is Hillis. Well, you know the story on Hillis. But everybody plays hurt. They question that, and that's how he ended up in Kansas City. Third and four, and there is Moyaki for a first down up to the 43. Boy, not only Moyaki, but he also brought in Kevin Boss. That's quite a tandem at tight end. But Jamal Charles with the running room, and that'll be a gain of 11. Charles, a two-time 1,000-yard rusher, healthy again. And now he'll go to the sideline. And they pitch it back. And that was a disaster from the very beginning. Three different starting quarterbacks. Crossing pattern. They'll get a big chunk of it back. Dexter McCluster out of the backfield. Castle steps up. And Bo in traffic hangs on. Beating Grimes down to the 25-yard line. Well, Grimes right there, step for step indeed with Bo, dropped his first pass of the afternoon, but has come back with a pair of receptions since then. Sean Drone, the ball carrier, touching it for the first time in his NFL career. Number 22, is second down and six, and again, excellent protection, and Kevin Boss with a touchdown. Boy, how good is Castle to begin the afternoon? Suck up for the point after, which ties the game at 10. Now we thought this was going to be a good one. And boy, has it been entertaining so far. Rodgers returned his last kickoff, 77 yards. And a nice return here up to the 27-yard line. First down for Ryan and the Falcons in a 10-10 game. 11.33 to play until halftime. They give it to Jacquez Rogers, and they didn't fool Kansas City on defense. A gain of two. Quick hit to Roddy White. First down yardage and plenty more after that up to the 45 yard line. That'll be a gain of 18 for Roddy White. You see it more and more coming up out of the college game and particularly in the no huddle offense. Ryan 
and rolls and throws. Was the catch made by White? Yes, is the answer. Well, they're in that hurry and load. Yeah, they decide to challenge it. I'm not quite sure what they saw to make them challenge it. It looks around the edge. The underneath path is pass is dead. So right here, he's got the right foot, left foot, excuse me, drags the right foot, maintains control. Mm. Looks like that's completed to me. Now the second part of it is what about the catch? Does the ball move at all? There's nothing you can see there to say he didn't have the ruling control. on the field of a completed catch stands. Kansas City will be charged their first team timeout. Well, Mike Shepard and his crew so far in this game have done an excellent job. Chuck Wills Rogers inside the 35 down to the 34 yard line and I think most people feel like at least the one game that's been played in the NFL before today that the officials did a good job on the Wednesday night game. We got to come back to that is it. Catch it again. It is Rogers, and he's run out of bounds. Good to see that. We also have Washington later on. I'd love to see RG3. These two young men are exciting to watch. Short drop, pump fake, one way. Now Ryan looks the other way and dumps it off to Gonzalez, and he's inside the 25, down to the 22. Some extra pushing and shoving going on. Second and five. Ryan puts it up. Catch. First down again. Roddy White. Chiefs are missing half of their starting secondary. Lewis is out. Brandon Flowers is out. We told you his backup. He may be wanting to check to a run here. Or a pass. <laughs> There's that same screen. They go to Jones, and again he finds the end zone for a touchdown. Julio Jones. Taking it. Avoid. You can act like you're going on a route and kind of have a little collision. You can't flat go out there and cut the guy. Even if it's just to make him kick a field goal as opposed to getting a touchdown. I know it's go back. And a touchdown throw to Kevin Boss. And they start off on the ground at Charles. Boy, he's in good. And he's into the open feet. Jamal Charles. From behind in the 35 yard line by Thomas Deku, but a huge gainer for Charles. A 46. And Hillis. Castle to Hillis. Who cuts it back to the inside. It takes the host of Falcons to, to answer the Atlanta touchdown. Look at that throw. McCluster. I mean, you can't throw it anymore. Spotted inside the 20. Charles once more breaks it to the outside. And he's run out of bounds at the second down and a yard. And that is the first down. Dennis spins his way down to the five. On a second and goal, quarterback keeper. Castle slips his way into the end zone, led by Logan. The Atlanta wasn't ready for it. Point after is good by Suckett. It may come down to whoever has the ball last. It gets you to be a little more aggressive with your play call. Rodgers deep in his own end zone. A couple of pretty good returns already. For both of these quarterbacks, and they're both utilizing nearly every one of them. That one bobbled. And caught by Harry Douglas. That'll be a good the previous pass is incomplete. Second down. Oh, good call. They came back and overruled themselves. That's what you do. You confer with one another. Douglas, a clean catch this time. And run out of bounds. Too tall for Julio Jones. On their own 39, good protection again. But neither quarterback has felt much heat at all. And there's Gonzalez crossing midfield. Both teams on offense. They get the playoff. Ryan all day to throw. And now nothing but green in front slides his way, depending on where they spot it. Till halftime, and Atlanta once more on the move. Ball at the 37. Ryan looking one way, rolling the other. And 
for a second straight time will keep it on the ground and picks up nine.